So, good morning everyone. We are here in Ayanapa Marina, now at daytime. The plan was taking part on a regatta to Tel Aviv. But unfortunately it is cancelled because our boat is too fast. And it's a racing boat, of course. class to take the time because the original plan was to be better than the best time from Ayanapa to Tel Aviv. But as you know now it's we are cancelled, not the race is cancelled, we are cancelled. So no extra class with our boat alone for taking the measurement of the time. So, we have to go back to Limassol. It's very sad, but it was an experience. Yesterday we tried out nearly all of our sails we take with us for the race. Of course, it should be the surprise I told you today, but no chance. So, we are going back, but the wind came from west, so we had to go upwind. Upwind means against the wind. Against the wind, you cannot sail. You need to tack. Tack means driving in a zigzag form. So we will see how long it takes. Today we slept on the boat. It was not funny. The boat is very loud. The waves are slapping below this bow. As you see, the bow is the back of the boat and it is above the waterline, and every wave is smashing against it. I wear earplugs, but the smashing of the waves you hear through the earplugs. So I make some more impressions of the Ayanapa Marina, it's the new marina, and then we are heading back to Limassol. I just saw a barley, the barley 4.1. I ordered the barley 4.2. Nice to see the barley. I will have a look now how the barley looks in real life. The barley 4.3 is in the Marina Limassol. This is the Bali 4.1 without a door to the front. So this Bali will be smaller than my Bali and my Bali will be between. Here you have a nice view to the clearance of the deck. Bali has a solid foredeck, so it means there is no net. So the wave the waves could slam beneath, but the boat is getting is uh, keeping dry. So I will see in the future how it worked out. But I think the solid foredeck is a huge advantage to have more living space. Oh, it's very windy, but here you see the Bali 4.1. left and right can be opened so you are sitting outside and when the weather getting bad you can close the garage door like now and then you are sitting inside so it's a nice way of maximizing the living space 
on this boat. This is one of the reasons why I bought this Bali. This is the smaller model. My model will be one foot longer. You can compare it to my earlier videos with the Bali 4.3. So the size will be somehow between one foot is not much. It's about 30 centimeters because the Americans have very huge feet. So I show you now the bow of the boat. This is the stern. The stern is called the deck. And bow is called the front. It's very windy, shaky. Because this pier is a floating pier, which means the pier is swimming. getting up and down with a pier. So here's the solid foredeck and the flybridge. Okay, now some impressions of the marina and when we are heading back to the Masol, sadly. Here you see the floating piers. Here in Limassol or here in Ayanapa we have a tide of, I heard, about 60 centimeters. Tide is between low water and high water. The tide is produced by the gravitation, it's called, I think of the moon to the earth. The moon is pulling up the water and so the tides are getting high and when the moon is in the 90 degree angle from the earth the tides is getting low and the sun and the rotation of the earth always also take part on producing the tides when the sun and the moon is on one line so two sorts of gravitation adding up when it's called a spring tide this is the highest tide possible and when the moon is behind the earth so the earth is between the sun and the moon. The moon will cancel out the gravitation of the sun, so it will be a very, very low tide. Where I tidal, 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 I don't know, uh, books where you can read the tides of each location. It's very important when you are tying up the boat onto a dock because if you are tying the boat too narrow to the docks the boat can be taken out of the water when the tide goes down but this are floating docks as you see on the with the black things here the complete docks could be go up and down so you can tie up your boat very narrow to the docks because the boat will be getting up and down together with the floating piers. Here you see the floating pier again. Upper style door, very 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 slow. So not good for German people who are always in rush. So this is the first building. 
I saw in graphics of a expected marina there should be a second building but they didn't even start it the construction Sun protection looks very futuristic. If you want to open a shop here, you can call this number. Please refer to me and I get 25% commission. No, I'm just kidding. All shops are quite empty now. It's a very new marina. It opens this year. So it took time. It's very far away from Ayanapa. So it's not so crowded in the night. Limassol Marina is near the old city of Limassol. So it's very crowded. It has advantages and disadvantages of course. If you are an old couple on a sailing boat you want to you don't want to have so much trouble. If you are a young guy like me you want to have action every time. So I'm happy in Limassol. I intentionally don't choose Ayanapa because in the low season Ayanapa is nearly empty because it's a touristy party town city so in the low season it's quite empty and boring and in Limassol it's a great city so the whole year you get something to do
was a turbulent journey. Bad, bad weather. Huge wind, huge gust of wind. But we are reaching Limassol now. It's in the night, as you see. I got a little bit seasick, a little, little, little bit. But when I'm standing at the helm station, it's getting better very, very fast because you have the control over the boat. So your brain tells you that everything is under control. Helm station means the station where you steer the boat. The captain is not always the helmsman. The helmsman is the person who is standing behind the steering. So this is the difference between captain and helmsman. The captain has the responsibility of everything happening on the boat. And the helmsman is the person standing behind the steering. So this is the skyline of Marsol. It took about, it will take about uh, half an hour, I think. Now all bad weather is gone, no rain and no wind, of course. Bad weather or weather changes are producing wind. So the weather changed to normal and constant weather so when you have constant weather you don't have any wind so we are driving under motor now it's now boring but it's a nice panorama of the long 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 coast of Limassol the length of the coast is about 12 kilometers
so it's a, it's a very warm welcome for us because we won we won the race to Tel Aviv. No, just kidding. We couldn't part. We couldn't be part of a race to Tel Aviv because our boat is too fast. And we came from Cyprus. Only Israeli boat boats took part. So if only Israeli boats took part, of course the Israeli will win the race. So this is the reason why Israelis often win some boat races or regattas. They disqualified others, so Israelis win all the time. It's a relatively easy solution. So here you see now Limassol Marina. The boat show is still running. This is, I think, the reason for the signals. Some impressions of Limassol Marina at night. Not so, not built so modern like the Ayanapa Marina. So the buildings have more of a military style. I think it has more ambiente than the super modern Ayanapa Marina. The floating docks are nice in Ayanapa, but the complete ambiente and the distance to the old city of Limassol is really great. So the marina will be is visited by many many locals, not only tourists, not only boaters. Here is real life every day and every night. So our small journey is over shorter than expected. I expected to go back by airplane from Tel Aviv on Wednesday, but shit happens. Our boat is too fast for a race. They could create an extra class so that the time for the race will be quoted somewhere, but they are only interested in Israeli boats, so an Israeli will win the regatta. Nothing more interesting to tell about. See you next time.